Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Praying Through the Psalter, a brief de a daily meditation upon the prayer songs of the Bible, the Psalms. Today, in our 29th devotion, we turn to Psalm 29, and you may want to join with me by opening your Bibles to Psalm 29. As we do so, let me remind us of how we interpret the Psalms. The three key things we say are that the Psalms are prayers from God to his people, that they become our prayers to then return them in prayer to God. Secondly, the Psalms teach us how to pray. And thirdly, the Psalms all bring us to see Jesus Christ in so many beautiful and powerful ways. Today we turn with King David to the 29th Psalm. Psalm 29 is one of the most majestic and beautiful of all the 150 Psalms. It is entirely from start to finish, a Psalm of praise that glorifies God. David begins the Psalm by lifting up his eyes and his voice to heaven. And he says, ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. And so David is lifting his voice in prayer to the angels of heaven that surround the throne of God. And he tells them that they should be worshiping and praising God at least as much as God's creation and nature praises and worships God. And then David moves into the body of his prayer of Psalm 29, where over and over he talks about the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord. It's a beautiful reminder of the voice, the word of God, of Jesus Christ. And what is the, uh, what has prompted this prayer of Psalm 29? Apparently, a great and mighty thunderstorm has prompted David to write this magnificent prayer. The thunderstorm was not over Israel, but apparently it was over Lebanon and Syria. And it must have been a thunderstorm of all thunderstorms. David prays in verse 3, The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The, glory, the God of glory thunders. The Lord over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesties. And then he says in verse 5, The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. And then down in verse 8, The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. And so over... You see these areas of Lebanon and Syria, there was this great thunderstorm. And David says, it is, it is God's voice that the thunderstorm reminds us of the voice and the power and the majesty of God, that God is sovereign over creation and over nature. He may especially have been praying, you see, against the Canaanite God of thunder, the Canaanites in Lebanon and Syria that surrounded Israel. They had many gods, and one of, one of the gods they talked about the most was, was a particular type of Baal called the God of Thunder. And so David's prayer is saying it's not this false demonic God of the Canaanites that has the sovereignty over nature. It is God, Yahweh, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It is God, the one true God, whose voice controls and has majesty and might over all things. And so David is saying that, that the example of a thunderstorm is to remind us that the voice of God, that God alone is sovereign. And David calls upon the heavenly beings and all those on earth to join him in this great praise and prayer to the Lord. It reminds us of the many examples in the New Testament where the Lord the Messiah, Jesus, has authority over creation and nature. Remember the time that the Lord walked upon the water? Uh, the time that he turned water into wine? We remember how he calmed the storm when he and his disciples were out on a boat caught in a sudden thunderstorm on the Sea of Galilee. And we also recall that at the Messiah's death, on, his, on the cross for you and for me. When Jesus died, there was a great storm. There was darkness. There was an earthquake. And so Psalm 29 reminds us the voice of God, the word of God, Jesus himself, 
he ultimately has the control over all things on earth and in heaven, over your life and your death and your eternity. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted upon you and give you peace. Amen.